So I've just finished a uh, 6k recovery run. And um, so yesterday I was out doing my uh, 38k run and I was thinking about things as you do on, you know, when you're out on the trails or out on the road or whatever for an extended period of time. I'll make sure we're going the right way. Um, and anyway, so I just wanted to share with you guys a uh, thing that I read probably about 12 months ago now, but it popped into my mind as I was running around. And it's called The Lunch Line, uh, this idea. And um, I read it um, in this book, 20 Rental Properties in One Year, uh, by Graham Fowler. And Graham Fowler is a uh, real estate investor um, um, and based in Hawke's Bay, New Zealand, which is where I come from. And he's worth about $10 million, so he's done really well. Um, he knows what he's talking about. He knows what he's talking about when it comes to investing in real estate and also just how to be successful in life. So, so yeah, he uh, speaks about this um, this concept uh, called. Oh, hang on. So he speaks about this concept called the uh, lunch line. And so basically, what it is is, you know, like when you join a lunch line, let's say there's like a, you know, you, you, you're waiting to get served, and you jump in the back of the line. So the back of the line is, you know, when you first start something, you know, whatever it is. Um, so for me, you know, my ultra running, um, you know, I'm a novice, I'm not super experienced with big ultras, so I'm at the back of the line. And then the longer you stay in that line, you know, obviously the closer you get to get to the front, whereas that's where you're going to get your meal, that's where you're going to get fed. And that's, um, you know, the analogy of, you know, getting success or achieving your goal, um, you know, whatever your chosen field is. So, um, so, yeah, like, so, so he goes on and, he, and so he talks about that, explains the basic premise of it all. And then he goes on to say, uh, too many people change lines. So, you know, you'll be in one line at the back, you know, you'll be at the back of the line and you'll get impatient. And then you'll, you'll leave that line and then you'll jump into another line, you know, you'll go to another shop and then you'll be at the back of that line. And you could just imagine if you kept on doing that consistently, you're never ever going to get to the front, you're never going to get your lunch. Um, so the key, basically the key is, I guess it's the, you know, consistency is key type thing, as it's all about sticking in the line, um, being patient, and, you know, wait, waiting for your turn for success, you know, or to get your lunch, in the analogy respect. Oh damn, it's raining quite a bit now. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's what I'm going to be doing, I'm just going to be staying in this lunch line now, because I've, um, ever since I left school I've done done quite a few different things, not really with sport, just with jobs and careers and whatnot, and I've never really in, sort of enjoyed any of them, but this is sort of the first time of uh, doing a pursuit that I really enjoy, because I love being outdoors, I love being on the trails, and I love pushing myself to, you know, the outer limits of what my body can endure, so, so yeah, so just sticking that lunch line, I guess, it's, um, it's the same thing, like, consistency is the key to success, um, I've heard plenty of people talk about it, I remember Conor McGregor actually saying something about it and he was saying you've just got to show up, Like that's like the number one thing is just keep turning up, keep showing up, you know just keep working hard and uh, yeah of course you're going to fail and it's going to take a long time and especially with running you've got to be patient you know because a lot of these guys that you see having success you know they've got five, ten years of running under their belt already so, um, so you know I've got to be patient with all that um, and just you know, just realise that things are going to take time. You know, it's like anything, you know, as they say, um, nothing worthwhile happens overnight. You know, you're not going to, you're not going to, and I actually read a quote this morning by Lionel Messi and he said it took him 17 years to become an overnight success. So, um, so there you go, stay in that lunch line.